Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Arizona seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden Jr. of the state of Delaware received 11 votes for president and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 11 votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote of the state of Arizona that the teller has verified appears to be regular in form and authentic? Mr. Vice President, I, Paul Gosar from Arizona Sports. For what Sports, purpose does the gentleman from Arizona rise? I rise up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the uh, counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. Uh, is the objection in writing and signed by a senator? Yes, it is. It is. An objection presented in writing and signed by both a representative and a senator complies with the law, Chapter 1 of Title III of the United States Code. The clerk will report the objection. Objection to counting the electoral votes of the state of Arizona. We, a member of the House of Representatives and a United States Senator, object to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Arizona on the ground that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. Are there further objections to the certificates from the state of Arizona? The chair hears none. The two houses will withdraw from joint session. Each house will deliberate separately on the pending objection and report its decision back to the joint session. The Senate will now retire to its chamber. I rise today to object to a number of states that did not follow the constitutional requirement for selecting electors. Madam Speaker, this is something that is clear that our founding fathers debated about as a fundamental decision of how we choose our president. There was a lot of back and forth, if anyone reads the founding documents of our country, about the different versions they went through to ultimately come up with a process where each state has elections, each state has a process for selecting their electors and sending them to Washington. And Madam Speaker, in a number of those states, that constitutional process was not followed. And that's why we're here to object. 